Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Today the topic of our discussion is Catabolism of other hexoses Hexoses are the sugar molecules which contain 6 carbon atoms Glucose is the main molecule that contains 6 carbon atoms and it undergoes the metabolic pathway of glycolysis in addition to glucose, fructose, galactose, mannose can also enter the glycolytic pathway. How these can be converted into the uh, pyruvate and that pyruvate enters the TCA cycle. So how they enter the glycolytic pathway, catabolism means the uh, formation of the intermediate of uh, TCA cycle and we know that the, what is the meaning of catabolism and anabolism. Catabolism is the breakdown of molecules into the small molecules and anabolism is the formation of uh, new molecules from already existing molecules so when the uh, these molecules are catabolized they are converted into some other compounds ATP is converted into ADP here is the detailed description here I have wrote all uh, the steps uh, that how galactose number one is the galactose that how galactose is converted into the uh, in, uh, into the intermediate of glycolytic pathway so we will see one by one uh, here the i have added a detailed description and you can pause the video to see the uh, writings and see the details but all the detail, the, these details will be explained by me in the uh, diagram of this topic here is the diagram of this topic now I will tell you that what happens here here we can see that galactose is converted into the galactose zinc one phosphate with the help of enzyme kinase and we know that the kinases are responsible for the transfer of phosphorus so here a molecule of ATP is utilized and it is converted into the ATP so galactose is converted into the galactose 1 phosphate by the addition of 1 phosphorus group next galactose 1 phosphate is converted into the UDP galactose because here you can see that uh, a molecule of UDP glucose came from within the cell and UDP glucose breaks down and UDP from UDP glucose the UDP molecule combines with the galactose so it becomes UDP galactose and the remaining glucose molecule of the UDP galactose com combines with the phosphorus group and it becomes glucose 1 phosphate so the molecule of the glucose become glucose 1 phosphate and the galactose become the UDP galactose so UDP glucose is converted to UDP glucose 1 phosphate and the galactose phosphate 1 phosphate is converted to UDP galactose next the UDP galactose is converted into the UDP glucose by the help of an enzyme UDP galactose 4 epimidase then UDP glucose is converted into the glucose 1 phosphate by the help of the enzyme UDP glucose pyrophosphorylase now we can see that the uh, that our step a our steps are entering into the glycolytic pathway now the glucose 1 phosphate will be converted into the glucose 6 phosphate and glucose 6 phosphate is converted into the fructose 6 phosphate and we have already discussed about the enzymes that are required here for the conversion of glucose 1 phosphate into the glucose 6 phosphate here the enzyme that is required is phospho you can see here that phosphoglucomutase enzyme is required for the conversion of glucose into the glucose 6-phosphate and the glucose 6-phosphate is then converted into the fructose 6-phosphate and then we can see here that some other steps are also written but we have nothing to do with that steps when there is a short question in your examination that write down the conversion of galactose into the pyruvate I write down the catabolism of galactose to the uh, um, to the uh, to the pyruvate then you can 
write down the whole steps to starting from here then to the uh, galactose 6 for fructose 6 phosphate and then from fructose 6 phosphate you can write the whole glycolytic pathway up to the pyruvate up to the pyruvate you will write the whole glycolytic pathway from the fructose 6 phosphate up to so on to the glyco pyruvate of the glycolysis next you can see that the uh, another um, uh, here another six carbon uh, molecule of the uh, carbohydrate is present that is known as fructose fructose is converted into the fructose 6 phosphate with the help of enzyme hexokinase it is converted into the muscle and adipose tissues and here also a molecule of ATP is, is utilized so by the uh, usage of ATP molecule fructose is converted with the fructose 6 phosphate then the fructose 6 phosphate is converted into the pyruvate by the repetition of the whole process of glycolysis so you have, will have to write the process of glycolysis is if there is a short question in the examination that yeah, or long question in the examination that write down the conversion of fructose into the pyruvate or write down the catabolism of fructose then you will write the whole process starting from fructose to fructose 6 phosphate and then the next whole glycolytic pathway you will write down and complete it up till the pyruvate so uh, in uh, describing the galactose metabolism you have to write these all steps up to the fructose 6 phosphate and then from fructose 6 phosphate up till the pyruvate then uh, you have if you have the question regarding the fructose the conversion of fructose then there is only one step you will start from here fructose is converted into fructose 6 phosphate and the remaining then steps are repeated remaining steps are repeated and next if there is a question then how mannose is converted into the glyco uh, into the pyruvate or write on the catabolism of mannose mannose so you will write so you write mannose is converted into mannose 6 phosphate obviously as you can see that there is a uh, phosphate group so atp is converted into the atp by the help of the enzyme hexokinase here kinases are responsible for the addition of phosphorus group so mannose is converted into mannose 6 phosphate and then mannose 6 phosphate is converted into the fructose 6 phosphate with the help of the enzyme as you can see there is enzyme phosphomannose isomerase so this was the whole topic and you can see that the mannose 6 phosphate when it is converted into the fructose 6 phosphate then the whole process is repeated up to the up to the formation of the pyruvate so you have to write in the examination from here the next topic next steps of the glycolysis will be uh, written by you so if there is a question of the catabolism galactose or fructose or mannose or all these three then you have to write these steps that how they enter the glycolytic pathway and then when you write the, con uh, the entry of these into the glycolytic pathway that in which step they are entering then after that step the whole glycolysis pathway should be written so that you can get the good grades in the exams so that was all about the catabolism of other hexoses that is the fructose galactose and mannose uh, into the pyruvate so that was all about this topic thank you very much for watching if you have any query regarding this topic you can ask me in the comment section thank you very much